when I uh, first performed for him, I followed her there just to make sure I knew what she was doing. Uh, you know, just go to an me. apartment with a guy to rehearse. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, but uh, the first time I went up, uh, I was a phony, you know, sat on the, you're supposed to do a, uh, a, a exercise where you sing a song, but do not move. You know, I sat on the edge and I sang Megan Whoopi, you know, and all of that nonsense. And Very so slick. Lee, Lee said to me, as I stood there afterwards, he said, you know, I don't know who you are. I wouldn't know what to do with you. And nobody had ever spoken to me that way. And of course he was saying, you're just a phony baloney, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and that was the beginning of throwing everything away that I used to do and just started working uh, with an awareness that uh, I have to use myself. And that was the beginning of that. Yeah. Well, for me, I was a, really a very repressed girl from the Midwest. Um, I don't want to go into the detail of a lot of stuff, family stuff, but he spotted it so fast and he knew I had problems and he loves problems. That's Lee Strasberg. Lee Strasberg, yeah. He loved problems and he loved, he, he really dug into trying to help me and so forth and uh, be myself, because I always was a really good actress, but I was an imitate. I would imitate or I would act, and he doesn't want that. He wants you to be you, basically, and then you add to that. But to get to me, it was uh, it was not easy. He he, very emotional. Let me put it that way. It was a very emotional relationship, and he he, intuitively knew instinctively, intuitively knew a lot of the problems I had. And he worked on those with me. And then later when I went into therapy and I had four years where I was in therapy and working with Lee and the combination of that was amazing. And it really transformed the way I approached being on the stage uh, or in front of the camera. Actually, his work is wonderful for being in front of the camera.